good evening abira roy abira roy is from kolkata yes sir oh oh so your for you people date has not come na uh, yes sir not yet acha good which date you had your gd i had it on uh, 23rd of september ore baba pehla round first day. ye first day yes sir first day itself acha what was the topic given to you you would have forgotten now tell me uh, no sir um, it was something related to uh, wait sir i have to remember uh, it was something related to death penalty uh, and uh, some recent news we have to connect it with it and tell correct, about correct. discuss about that Achha, okay. this this topic has come on 23rd itself aap log yes, humko pata hai bola nahi hai isliye it is appearing as 161 or 162 topic in us first number is 95 why did you not inform me about the topic they told you not to tell the topic correct yes sir yes sir <laughs> <laughs> that is known it's okay fine no problem now please tell me about yourself okay uh, sir my name is abira roy uh, i was born and brought up in kolkata i did my graduation in economics honors from lady brabon college and i have completed masters this year from university of hyderabad uh, in economics and uh, i am a hard working disciplined individual i give very detailed attention to uh, small uh, details and uh, i am very excited about the possibility of joining this organization uh, and i have uh, my hobby is uh, dancing and cooking mm -hmm. that's it good yes. now can you please tell me about your family yes my family consists of four members my parents my father is a businessman my mother is a homemaker and my grandmother and me mm -hmm. of these people apart from you whom do you like very much i equally like uh, all of them but uh, i am a bit uh, biased towards my mother because i have seen her work very hard and um, balance uh, or even if some days when she seek uh, she uh, does all the household works and uh, always look after us so yeah i'm a little bit biased towards my mother yes. can you tell me what you understand as macro economics macro economics is a uh, when we look into something macro means we uh, look it as whole so when we talk about macro economics it's basically looking into a economy uh, as a whole as a in a perspective of looking in it as a country so as a totality of the what is happening in a country or a, in the world like that what do you understand by inflation inflation is uh, in simpler terms it it means uh, a change in uh, price level that is increase in price level as an economic student your definition should be still better inflation means too much rise in the price of goods and services over a length of time yes, it is not so rise yes. in one day or two days it should be for two quarters correct yes yeah how many public sector banks are there in india it's 12 there are 12 public sector banks yeah so what are direct taxes and indirect taxes direct taxes are those taxes which falls up upon the uh, consumer itself like if someone is buying something and uh, then and there paying the tax along with the price of that good uh, it is direct tax and indirect tax is something which is uh, not taken directly the tax is not taken directly from the consumer it uh, it is taken via the uh, person who is selling the product wrong wrong direct taxes means taxes like income tax okay where you have to pay directly it is recovered from you indirect taxes or taxes like gst where uh, you are not it is paid through 
some other thing. So why are you, this is a basic question. Please prepare on this topic, direct and indirect taxes. What are the taxes coming under direct tax, like property tax, professional tax and all that. Up thoda prepare karna hai. All right, sir. Please tell me what is budget. All these questions are there with me. 100 questions. I am giving all these 100 questions in our 24, that Federal Bank interview group, Vedya. This is actually useful for you only for um, say mm, for you candidates well, there is economics candidates only but others like MCOM and MBA also can make use of this. Yeah. Okay now, sir. Yeah. Now uh, what was the question I was asking you? Uh, you asked me what is a budget? Ah. Correct. Tell me. Uh -huh. Budget no, but is an but yeah, tell me not only this, they will ask they will ask you to speak about the recent budget important provisions. I have given you budget also, the um brief budget in um, briefly I have given it. So you must go through. Did you go through that or not? Uh, sir, I went through, but uh, I have to again read it. Yeah, now answer this general question. What is budget? Budget is an estimate of how government is going to spend for the country, uh, for the betterment of the economy in a year. And it is de decided by the finance minister. It is presented uh, by the finance minister of the country. And uh, the union budget of 2024 was... Um, was very important because it it also proposed a, a, a tax lab for the middle income group uh, yeah. and uh, it, and it also focused on the healthcare and education sector uh, specifically yeah. and on skin, the skill developing uh, programs According to Article 112 of the Indian Constitution, the union budget of a year also referred to as annual financial statement is a statement of the estimated receipts. You omitted that point. Estimated receipts and expenditure of the government for that particular year. See, I don't want you to tell in the very same order, but whenever we answer, the answer should contain the key elements. Yes, key sir. elements like receipts, expenditure, estimate. These words are important. Okay. Otherwise, okay. your answer was correct. But maybe it can be improved by telling those things. Okay, sir. Miss Abira Roy. Abira means yes. Abira ka matlab kya hai? Uh, in Bengali, Abir means colors. So Abira means someone who is colorful or somebody who brings colors to one's life. Oh, Baba. Superb. <laughs> Good. Very nice. Abira. Please yes. tell me what is S E Z. S C Z. Special economic zones. Hmm. So. Definition. Sir, I forgot it. So shall we stop economics with this? I have given you hundred questions in that paper. Please prepare on that. Not that everything will be asked, but definitely they, uh, there are very less economic students in this batch. So they will try to put you more questions. Okay, so prepare I'll for these to. things. Now I will go for normal level questions, easy questions. Abira Rai, yes. why should we select you? So, because uh, my I have uh, confidence in my communication skill, and I am very good at uh, time management, and I give very uh, uh, 
thorough de- uh, attention to small details uh i believe that i'll be able to talk with the customer and understand w- what uh, his or her need is and accordingly provide uh, with the solution and so sir uh, i i think you should select me yeah which bank are you having account sir uh, state bank of india oh great I think majority people have in state bank only only good what is the name of their mobile app you uh, you know sir huh you know you know what is the expansion of you know uh, sir you only need uh, one yes you you only need one correct now please tell me for what purposes you know can be put into use so for a digital uh, transfer if if somebody wants to uh, transfer money from one bank to another uh, sitting at at home they can use you know app and uh, they can transfer m- money to other mm-hmm. banks and also pay cash uh, uh, bills like electricity bills and other bills they can pay with it mm-hmm. and also yep. upi payments mm-hmm. no no actually you must be able to tell so many other points if you really go through that you know you will see they are telling so many things that can be done i am having it here just a minute i know but as a normal individual we would not have concentrated in going through this one here you see they are telling about quick pay then you know cash loans investment best offers like that you can apply for locker so many things i have to log into that then only i will know so many other factors like say taking statement of account okay yes. then yes, yes. giving standing instructions then giving form 15g what is form 15g form 15g sir i don't know form 15g is a document to be given by a person if he is drawing more than 40000 rupees sir interest from fixed deposits in a financial year for this is for people below 60 years if okay. one is above 60 60 and above then for him 50000 rupees if they draw that much interest from bank in a financial year and they okay. do not want tax to be deducted at source they have to give form 15g that is for people below 60 for people above 60 it is form 15h understand okay sir okay yes these things are i, I have already discussed in my classes and uh, posted in videos in detail yeah now let me go through the questions they have asked only i am not asking anything new what was the project you had in your m post graduation sir in our batch it was uh, optional to take uh, the dissertation or uh, i can also choose for another uh, subject so i chose for another ch- subject which I subject did, did you choose uh, i chose uh, behavioral economics can you tell me what is behavioral economics yes sir it's basically a mixture of uh, psychology and economics so if uh, it it uh, describes all the uh, habits of people uh, uh, when they don't behave as a rational human being and uh, sometimes uh, they just uh, violates the assumptions of micro basic microeconomics so i can give you an example uh, if two person are there and uh, there is a game going on Uh, and uh, the rule is like this uh, 100 rupees is has to be divided into two people and if person a is giving some money to b and b accepts that rule uh, accepts that money then only they will both get the money otherwise they do, do, uh, both lose the money so uh, as a rational human being a should give uh, 19 uh, 1 to b and 99 uh, he should keep to himself because uh, he, he will ma- maximize his uh, amount now uh, what happens in realities b will in this case feel uh, disrespected and uh, will not uh, 
accept this uh, game so uh, su such a such such things happen under uh, behavioral economics and uh, psychology comes into play so he has to give 50 50 or at least 40 60 like hmm. this good now what is casa casa means uh, current account and savings account um, what is casa percentage of a bank I forgot the percentage. Casa percentage means current account and savings account divided by total deposits. That is demand deposits plus time deposits into 100. It must be 40 plus percentage for a okay. federal bank. Yeah. Now, can you tell me the difference between current account and savings account? Yes, sir. Current account is used mainly by uh, big uh, firms or companies where uh, they use that account to pay employees and savings accounts are mainly used by other individuals, common people who save uh, a lump sum amount into that uh, account and the transaction is not that frequent but in current, uh, current accounts the transaction uh, that happens day, uh, in day to day basis is more frequent than savings Actually, account. What you said is not wrong, but current account, you should bring the important point. Current account is opened by business firms. Yes. Sir. That word business you must use. It is used right. for business. And uh, okay. you need not tell about salary payment and all. And okay. there is uh, no uh, limitation in respect of transactions. And the minimum balance to be kept is a higher balance than savings account. Savings account, yes. Federal bank yes. gives how much interest in current account and savings account? Sir, sir, I did not look into that. No interest in current account. Savings account, they are giving 3% interest. Okay, sir. You are from Kolkata. Yes, sir. Who is your finance minister, state finance minister? Sir. I don't Please know. tell me, supposing somebody comes to your house as a visitor, what are the places you will take him for showing in Kolkata in one day? In one day? Yeah. Okay. Uh, first, I will take him uh, to Victoria Memorial and uh, in, in a same region there is a, a big market shopping market shopping complex I'll take him to th that place after that uh, I'll take him to Sambajar uh, launch there is a very beautiful facility of uh, uh, trying the launch and having some food there mm. so and after what? that I'll obviously take him to my home again for dinner <laughs> <laughs> Because one day you can't do more than that. Very good. Are the trams running nowadays or not? Yes, sir, they run, but uh, in specific areas and they are not very often. Uh, the timings are very, uh, like the difference of time is very high. Frequency is less. Frequency is less, yes, sir. Very good. Best wishes. Uh, we'll you. meet next time. We will see what happens. Thank you. Okay, sir. You are Thank you. Thank prospective you. candidate. Provided you prepare seriously. All right, sir. Sir, I'll Thank try. You. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Next candidate has come, Ashna Ann. Ashna Ann, have you come, please? Ashna Ann, just a minute. Ashna Ann, Ashna. 5.45 I have given. Now it is 5.42, na? What is the time now? Uh, sir, it's 5.42. So can 5 I ask you a question related to um, CASA and uh, those things? Yeah. Uh, so current account, savings account, and the bank is having some other kinds of deposits also, right? No, which type of de no, fixed deposit and recurring deposit? 
Ah, yes, a fixed deposit and recurring deposit. So I wanted to ask you that for current account and savings account, we open different account only. No? If I want to open an account, I'm, I will be opening a savings account. And if I am running a business, I will be going to the bank and opening a new account uh, that is uh, current account. Correct. Like that. Correct. Okay. And for this uh, fixed deposit and recurring deposit, uh, both the posting, if I'm holding a current or savings account, uh, bo in both the cases, I can uh, open this fixed or recurring yeah, yeah. deposit. Fixed deposit okay. can be opened by any person, even, even though whether he is having current account, SB account or not. He can okay. simply come and open his uh, fix, fixed deposit account or recurring deposit account. Because that is a time deposit where you are keeping your money for interest sake, for higher interest. Okay, sir. And Thank sir, for a savings account, uh, in uh, this federal bank is paying 3% interest and all, all other bank is same, say, giving the same interest only, right? No, no, no. It will be 2.8, 2.9. It differs from bank to bank. Now, and for it is, it is left to the that... discretion of banks. Current account, no bank pays any interest. Okay. This purposely I asked to check up whether the candidate knows that no interest is paid in current account. Okay, sir. And uh, how much amount can be withdrawn that amount? No, no. Actually, in savings account, there are restrictions on withdrawals. 50 withdrawals in a six months period. When the number of withdrawal exceeds that 50, they will be levying certain charges. Okay. Whereas in the case of current account, there are no restrictions. Any number of withdrawals can be done. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. 96561. I have given Monday. Achha, achha. Oh, she is not coming. Some hospital issue, it seems. She is not coming. So I will close this interview with this because I have to go out, take bath, go for puja. I think other things remaining constant. I will come back by 7 o'clock in the same place. By 7, I will be returning. 7 p.m. Thank you. I have to take my breakfast, take bath, then get ready for the puja, then come here. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Seven o'clock, we can meet. Thank you. Bye-bye.